The Matrix Report maps the way forward for Northern Ireland as a knowledge-based economy. It is the culmination of more than 18 months' work by the largest ever consortium of the region's leading high-technology businesses and senior science academics working together. We can't compete on labour cost, on taxation, and on energy cost, on transportation cost, but we can compete on technology, we can compete on innovation, and that's why it's very important to us to be innovative and to have advanced technology. And in order for us to be as competitive as we can, we need to draw as much of that as we can from the local environment, from the local universities, and from other local businesses, um, and work together to maintain that competitiveness. The way forward is to bring together the, the traditional expertise that we have, uh, areas like agri-food, uh, ICT, engineering, medical, pharmaceutical, and at the interfaces of those disciplines, I believe there are new, innovative, world-class products that we can take forward for the future. By making the appropriate decisions now, Northern Ireland has the opportunity to secure strategic market advantages and to compete internationally. Valuable opportunities can be realised in key global markets by harnessing our science and technology, working together across all sectors and disciplines. The idea of personalised medicine linked to, for example, drug development is one that you can actually do from Northern Ireland using modern technology such as telemedicine, telesynergy and clinical trial infrastructure linked to those. Bringing all those together means that we in Northern Ireland can actually be very successful if we put our minds to work together to make it happen. Development in these markets means creating an innovation ecosystem. The report recommends a number of ways to do this. Industry-led communities should be formed, engaging business, academics and government, addressing global market opportunities using science and technology. We are going to generate an IPR gene pool here that's going to generate an intellectual property. And the foreign direct investment needs to be such that it doesn't dilute that, it actually adds to it. And those two things working together, government working together, education working together, that's when you've got a real cluster that will truly make a mark on the world stage. These industry-led communities should create a roadmap, demonstrating outputs using effective knowledge and technology exchange. The infrastructure must be created to exploit and promote the value of intellectual property business. Northern Ireland must have a demand-meeting, Europe-leading, flexible and responsive skills system that outplays competitors. We need a focus on quality, not quantity. We also need a focus on entrepreneurship, risk-taking, and a focus on a few select verticals. For that, I mean focusing on uh, telecommunications, financial services, and also on horizontal layers, like embedded systems and the integration of the enterprise application and data. It also means aligning education with those verticals and with those horizontals, so that we have got a, a program that actually develops people for the markets that we are addressing. The regulatory regime has to be transformed to allow greater risk taking. We've brought a lot of breakthrough products to the market. We've been first with a lot of new technologies. We've done a lot of things that I think our competitors have wondered why we've done it. Are oh, they a little bit crazy? Well, we're not frightened of being a little bit crazy. It doesn't scare us a bit that we're different to the rest of the pack. We have to distinguish ourselves, I think, from our international competition. As a small region, Northern Ireland will always be a net importer of knowledge through research partnerships, globally connected firms and the attraction of the best talent. What any, anybody needs to master change is of course good information and that's what we need more than anything else. We need leadership from within the industry uh, to give us that information based upon research and we also need the industry itself to be able to look for that information and to accept that it may not necessarily be found at home but we may have to go abroad to get that information. The Matrix Report sets out the steps we should take if we are to secure Northern Ireland's competitive future in the global technology and knowledge-based economy over the next decade. We were the first to, to market with um, a hybrid electric vehicle that's now in trial for London. This is uh, alternative fuels, this is really the, the fuel system and the drive line of the future. And a lot of people wonder why a little company in Northern Ireland is capable of doing something ahead of the game against such household names as Mercedes and Scania and Volvo. And it's because we have real belief in, in what we do and we're not frightened of that belief. Challenges and opportunities ahead need to be met in a new and dynamic way. With government supporting and facilitating, 
are academic institutions promoting skills, research and development, and industry providing innovation and constructive leadership. Working together, Northern Ireland can have a more sustainable, high-value economy for years to come. The opportunity must not be missed.